welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm gonna paint my ceiling fan. You probably know because you clicked on the video. Never mind. Okay, so I've seen a lot of people paint like Bob Ross paintings all over their walls and all these crazy stuff. But my parents will never go for that. So I decided to do the next best thing and paint my ceiling fan. Now I don't even know if I'm if I can like remove the wings. I don't know what I'm gonna paint, but I want to do it. Do something a little different for my channel since. A lot of you guys don't know that I paint, so yeah. And if you're new to my channel, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And then I'll link all my social medias in the description box. And I'll put my Instagram and TikTok down here. So without further ado, wish me luck. Ignore my chunk class, but I have like all my little palettes here, all my paint in this bin. And I put this blanket on my bed because I don't want to dirty it. But someone's addicted to TikTok and won't move, so... Suit yourself. I'm gonna be painting on my mother today. Yikes! Um, I don't know how this is gonna go, but we'll see. All yours. That's how you do it, you guys. That's how you do it. Number one. Handyman tees. First screw is oh, second screw is out. Watch him just bump me in the head. And the third screw is out. Like, look at this. One side's like all light and one side's like all dark. Call me on myself. Um, I don't know why I decided to do this when I really. Bless you. Whew, thank you. When I really need my fan, cause like. Whew. Can we take a moment to appreciate how weird that looks? It's just like a random thing in the middle of the room. So the first thing I'm gonna do is wipe these things down because they have literally been up there for like a bajillion years. I got it. I don't know what I'm gonna do. So I was contemplating what to do for like ever because I probably should have thought this through before I decided to paint my fan. Sorry about it. So I wanted to do like a renaissance painting thing, so I came across this photo. That's what I wanted to do, right? So I decided to get two of the panels. I'll get two of the panels and they'll go directly across from each other like this almost. And on one, I'll have like the one hand reaching out this way. And then on the next one, I'll have the other one that's like barely trying to reach out. And then the rest of them will be like renaissance painting clouds. So that like once you're looking at it like this, it'll be the two hands and then like the sky. It looks difficult. People say that hands are the hardest things to paint and draw. But I like making my life more difficult. That's the plan. For now, I'm just sketching out the hands. So I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'll try to like reflect it off. Doubt you guys can see it. But this first part, I just finished doing one hand and I just sketched it out in pencil. Oh, you guys can kind of see it. It looks like I'm painting a skateboard. Head and star on the next one. But this one doesn't really look like it's putting much effort. So this one's kind of just there and it's really bent like this while the other one's more of like a reaching out. When did I become an art teacher? I'm gonna start actually painting because I'm probably gonna be here till 4 a.m. So I should probably get started. It's fine. Vibe time lapse starts now. But what was the reason? Honey, struggling to open paint for an hour straight. A plain white bottom coat so I can go ahead and start like putting the blue cows on top now I just did the outline 
for the two hands you can kind of see them a little bit better watch this the upside down yep so you can kind of see it a little bit better but this is what the two hands are looking like right now and i just did the background as the clouds so once they meet they're gonna look something like this so this is what they would look like once they kind of meet and once they're up there on my fan but one thing i noticed was if i mess up there's no going back see a painting on a canvas i can just easily forget about it i can just let it sit in my room for like a couple weeks and then start working on it but it's like 99.9 .9 degrees up in here and i need a fan tonight so i really got no choice but to finish today just thought i'd share that Vibe time lapse can proceed. I have no clue how this is gonna come out. So future honey, if you're watching this, can you just let me know if we succeed or not? Like I just really wanna know. We did this. <laughs> I have not heard an ice cream truck in like forever. It's so crazy. So I wanted to quickly check in and show you guys the progress. So this was like the first layer that I did. So as you can see, you could still see a lot of the wood and it was just plain white. And now this is like a mixture of white and blue for the second layer. So this is what we want before we start adding on the clouds. Okay, so I'm making some progress. I just started doing some of the clouds. So I'm just using different shades of tan, cream, white, and a little hint of gold to kind of just do my clouds. And I'm really just placing them randomly. I'm trying to connect them but still make them look as like realistic and natural as possible. So I'm kind of just patting on the base of cream and white mixed together. And then afterward, I'll go ahead and go in with my tan. This is why my whole thing is such a mess. Go in with the tan and kind of just give it some shape and definition so it doesn't look like really flat. And yeah, Dilly came to come visit me. I just woke him up from his nap by feeding him a donut. But all the clouds are done now. And I'm going to start on the actual hand. So I have all of my different skin tones. It looks like I literally work at Sephora and these are all my foundation shades. Jordan begged me to let him help, so... I gave him a little box that he could do. Oh, you look so proud. So he's going to do this box, and then Dylan's going to do that box. Are you excited, Dilly? Yes. Is this your first time painting? No. No? When did you paint before? I painted a LeBron James picture. Oh, you did paint a LeBron James picture. I'm going to show you guys because it actually... Oops, sorry. It actually came out really good. And let's take a moment to appreciate how much paint I have everywhere. But this is my little painting corner. I just oh, recently painted El Borracho. And Dylan painted this one all by himself. It's supposed to be LeBron James. And I know you guys can see that. He's a little artist. Guys, I am so proud of how this is coming out. So I have all of the sky ones. And I have one hand done. So this is what the other hand looks like with no type of value or shading. I've been working on this for, I started this at four, 3 o'clock. What's happening? I started this at 3 o'clock and it's 8. So I've been doing this for like 5 hours, but it's going to be worth it. We have come to the momentous moment where I have finished. Peep the fact that I don't have Spotify Premium. Guys, it's completed! Look at this. So I decided to make this one a woman and a man. Kind of to represent a broken relationship, but I am so happy right now. <sighs> Dude, I look like trash. I've been working on this thing for so long, but it's officially done. <clears throat> so I want this scene to last for like as long as possible. So I'm going to go outside and varnish them. Basically like protect them so that they don't start chipping and stuff like that. So that's the last step. And then I put it up. Wait a minute! 
Right. Wait, wait, wait. Homo is gonna put it up the wrong way. Most like horizontal from each other. No, no, no. I think we should save these two for the hands. I feel like those two like match up the most. So what? Uh, we'll go. Yeah, you can put it there. And then the hands will go there. So how do you feel about doing this? Target. It was actually so fun. Because like, I feel like I got burnt out on canvases and stuff. Like, I've never finished a whole painting in one day. Like, I really wanted to get this done. But I have paint in places where the sun don't shine. So I need a good shower. <laughs> My mom's face. <laughs> He's doing it again. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. I shouldn't have said any. I should. The moment of truth. Okay. Four. Three. This is a good way to spend a day in quarantine. I wouldn't have done anything else. So how long did it take you to do this, honey? I started at three. So from like the minute my paint hit the thing to putting it up, it took me about seven hours. Seven hours. I had to sketch it. First I had to choose what I wanted to do. Sketch it out. Start painting the background. I had to paint the hand. Then I had to varnish it. I was about to break it. And then yeah. But it was worth it though. I really like it. Don't break it, baby. What would that sound? I don't know why I'm so hyped about this. I'm so happy. Oh! Are you trying to put this up tomorrow? Got me sister bent. This is what it looks like, guys. Wait, did I keep you on the fan? Wait, make sure that it's... it's oh, wait. <laughs> Watch all the blades fly, fly on me. I love this. Okay, guys, this is a moment of truth. So this is what it looks like spinning. And I'm so happy I finally completed my goal. And it took a lot longer than anticipated, but it was actually a really fun day to spend my day in quarantine. I had like literally nothing else planned. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs>